and this one, my friends, it's going to go out to everyone. I guess today's topic is something like, how do you stop fighting yourself and others and start loving? And it's a hard one. It's a hard one because that that fight and that that you know anger that hate it comes out of you know the the deep deep love you have for people and for life and for you know in our own minds we all sit here and we think we understand what a perfect world would look like and when we wake up in the mornings some of us have the energy to go out and try and make that happen you know some mornings you just struggle with whatever you might struggle with but you get out into the world and you try and enact your own perception of what is perfect. And when other people see things differently, people that we love, we don't immediately conflict with them, but then there's this like knot. Both people get a knot built up because they don't know how to see past their own perfect view of the world, their own God's granted gift of what your guide is. You know, we're all being guided towards like what we're supposed to do and what's perfect and how we're supposed to live. And, when you follow too strongly with how you feel and and you really, like, get sucked into that, it's like an insanity thing. It's like being alone too long. You, like, fall wholly into yourself and you can't see or hear anyone else. So, like, one of my other videos where I was talking about giving yourself away so you can come to a higher power, the other people in your life are exactly like that. If you want to actually get through and, like, hear and, and like... So th this is me talking as someone who couldn't listen right now. So as someone who can't listen, <coughs> you have to you have to say, okay, what do I actually want from this person? Well, typically you're fighting because you want them to understand you. But if you're in some kind of conflict, it's probably because they want the same exact thing. Two equal forces balancing out. So if you feel you're not being listened to and understood... The best first step is to do what you want done for you. That's a very good first step. So listen very much. Don't listen for what, you, what you're what you wanting to hear or what you're thinking or what you think they think or what you think's going on. Listen to what they are saying. Hear them. Feel them. Feel these people that you want to help in your life. And when you feel these people... And you really feel them. And you're not like talking to them. You're not intellectualizing with them. You're like... You're like two people. It's a very beautiful thing. It's, it's more so than two forces against each other. It's... <coughs> it's like... Um, indescribable, really. It's like light hitting a dark room. It's like the, the second of a flash before everything starts to really hit in your head. It's just... It's miraculous when you can actually break through to other people. Like, most people have had the experience where they really connected with someone. And a lot of the time, it happens, like, spontaneously for people. But if you really pay attention, it's, it's like a thing of where you submit yourself to God, and then God becomes present in you because you've stopped holding on so deeply to yourself. Once you stop holding on so deeply to what you see and feel to be true and right, you'll see what they see and feel to be true and right. Ultimately, we're all just like reflections of the same thing. Like, maybe with a little bit of a different tint. You could think of it that way. It's really all the same thing. We really all want the same thing. We all want to be heard. We all want our, our struggles to be known. And we all, all want our triumphs to be known. We all want to be shared. We all want to share. That's why we're here. We're here to share our pain and our glory, our sacrifice, our love, our selfless givings. You know, it's just, we're here for each other. And that fighting thing is when you think, oh, I know what's better for both of us, so let me tell you what's good for us. Rather than, okay, let's get together and let's both slowly work out what we think is right. Because nothing good comes easily. You know, no nothing easy is really worth any effort, you know? It's not worth getting out of bed for. So there's so much that I could say about conflict and harmony. It's a lot about what my childhood was, was about, you know? It's just... And I see people in my life, you know, my friends going through very similar problems. <clears throat> it's so hard to break through to people who are just so desperately, you know, caught up with the idea of taking your hand, 
and doing God's work with it. It's something like letting God's work come through your hands. It's, it's this thing of no resistance. You can't fight the world into being a better place. You have to, you know, work with it and heal it. It's, it's a process of love, not of, you know, triumph and conquest. Love is not conquest. Healing is not conquest. It's, it's passion. It's slow. It's, uh, and it can be like a, a masculine energy, but it's typically a, a feminine energy to heal. So you have to open this soft part up in yourself. Like, like typically when people conflict, it's because something is quote-unquote wrong. There's a problem to be fixed. And oftentimes it's true. Something's got to be done or, you know, something. And a conflict will arise because, you know, either stress or the whole weight of your entire life on your shoulders. Sometimes that can be a little much. Um, you just have to see past your own eyes. You have to, you have to feel yourself in other people. And you have to feel other people in yourself. You have to... There be people shooting out here in these streets, bro. I live in the ghetto, dude. That's mm, they popping off. Um, but no, man. It's about love. It's about emptying yourself so you can be filled. It's about. It's about being present with another person. It's about letting yourself get okay. It's about letting yourself hear. It's about letting yourself try. It's not a, I can't hear this anymore. I can't put up with this. I love you too much, but I, I just... No, you, you want to hear what people say. And you have to submit to people. And when you talk to people, you don't talk to them because you want to fix them. You don't talk to them because you think your words can help them. You talk to them as a friend. Compassionately. Sharing their problems. Because you... No better than anyone else. Maybe you've gone a step further in this one tiny place in your life. And you can share that step. And you really do help another person. But you gotta say it in a way where... I'm just another soul. You're just another soul. How do you do? I got some funny advice for you. <laughs> so you just play. You play with the serious stuff. You play with the playful stuff. You get serious with the playful stuff. You get serious with the serious stuff. You just... Don't get so caught up in all of it that you start gritting your teeth and baring your fangs at people that you love, and especially yourself, because you'll start to, you'll get in your own head and you'll start fighting people who aren't there. I was like, you know, slightly neglected as a child. I think that's a big thing with the way our society works. Like, we just, there's not enough time or energy left in people to properly care or raise children. So, like, a lot of people are just straight neglected. So... It's just, there's this thing where, like, things will happen, and then you go inside your head, and you're like, I want to fix it, I want to fix it, I want to fix it, and you're not even, like, intellectualizing it. You're just, like, still stuck in the conversation in your head. You're still stuck in that fight. Like, ultimately, the fight is inside of yourself before it's shared with another person. That's another truth. So there's a fight in you before there's a fight of two. So find in yourself the ability to say, okay, I'm imperfect. This person is imperfect. But we can talk to each other on a similar level. We can we can be loving without perfection. We can be perfect without, you know, something. Just stop fighting yourself. Stop fighting your loved ones. And even and when you do, stop hating yourself for it. Start loving yourself because that's the only way you can get better. And if you refuse to ever love yourself, re like, despite your problems and your pain, your problems and your pain are only going to grow. Until your heart breaks, and it breaks, and it breaks, and it breaks. And eventually, it's just open. And you just know your pain, and you see your pain in everyone else, and you're just open. Your heart breaks and breaks and breaks and breaks until it is opened. Sometimes you can intellectualize into understanding other people. Sometimes you can see them display it. Sometimes you all can talk it out, and you can really feel another person. But there's something deep about loving your pain and knowing that this pain means there's something to care for and have. It's this whole thing about, you know, knowing the depth of reality and knowing the depth of what you are and knowing that there's so much in every little thing. Nothing's ever forgotten, nothing's ever wasted, nothing's ever destroyed. Things are right, man. 
I love y'all. Goodbye. I'll see y'all soon.